Do protests increase the spread of the virus? Do protests increase the spread of the virus? Uh, I think I can make a general statement. Well, half a million protesters on June 6th alone, yeah. I'm just asking, that number of no. people, does yeah. it increase the spread of the virus? Cra crowding together, particularly when you're not wearing a mask, contributes to the spread of the virus. Should we limit the protesting? I, I'm not sure what you mean, should, how do we say limit the protesting? Should government limit the protesting? I, I, I don't think that's relevant to... Well, to, you just said if it increases the spread of the virus, I'm just asking, should we limit it? Well, I'm, I'm not in a position to determine what the government can do in a forceful way. Well, you make all kinds of recommendations. You, no. you make comments on dating, on baseball, and everything no. you can imagine. I'm just asking, you just said it, yeah. that protests increased the spread. No. I'm just asking you, should we try to limit the protests? No, I think I would leave that to people who have more of an, a, a position to do that. I can tell you. Government stopping people from going to church, Dr. Fauci. Uh, yeah. You can favor one First Amendment liberty protesting right. over another practicing your faith. I'm not favoring anybody over anybody. I'm just making a statement that's a broad statement that avoid crowds of any type, no matter where you are, because that leads to the acquisition and transmission. And I don't judge one crowd versus another crowd. When you're in a crowd, particularly if you're not wearing a mask, that induces it's just, the it's spread. A simple, it's a simple question, doctor. Should we limit the protest? Government is obviously yeah. lim limiting people yeah. going to church. And, and look, I'm there's not gonna, been no there's been no violence that I I yeah. can see at church. I haven't seen people yeah. during a church service go out and, and harm police officers right. or burn buildings. But we know that I mean for 63 days, right. nine weeks, it's been happening in Portland. Right. Yeah. Well, one night in Chicago, 49 officers were injured, but no limit to pro, no limit to protests. But boy, you can't go to church on Sunday. What was the, uh, I don't know how many times I can answer that. I'm not going to opine on limiting anything. I'm just going to tell you. You've opined a on a lot of things, Dr. Fauci. Yeah, but I've never this said This is something that directly anything. impacts the spread of the virus, yeah. and I'm asking your, your, your position on the protest. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm not going to opine on limiting anything. I'm telling you what it is, the danger. And you can mm -hmm. make your own conclusion about that. You should stay away from crowds, government, no matter where the crowds government stop, are. Government has, uh, government has stopped people from going to work. You know, I'm not going to opine on who gets arrested and who does not. I mean, I, I, you get where I'm going. I'm telling you, as a public health official, I say crowds. Do you see the inconsistency, though, Dr. Fauci? There's no inconsistency, Congressman. There's what? No There's no inconsistency. So you're allowed to protest millions of people on one day in crowds, yelling, screaming, but you try to run your business, you get arrested? And if you stood right outside of that same business and protested, you wouldn't get arrested? Okay. You don't see an inconsistency there? I don't understand what you're asking me as a public health official to opine on who should get arrested or not. That's not my position. You could ask no, as much as you you've want. You've advocated for certain businesses. You've advocated for certain businesses to be shut down. I'm, I'm just asking you on your position on the protest. And we know the protest actually increased the spread of the virus. You've said that. I said crowds. I didn't say specifically. I didn't say protests do anything. So the protests don't increase the spread of the virus? I didn't say that. You're putting words in my mouth. No, I, I, want, I, would, I just want an answer to the question. Do the protests increase the spread of the virus? I, I don't have any scientific evidence that anything. I can tell you that crowds are known, particularly when you don't have a mask, to increase the acquisition and transmission. No matter so what you don't the have a position is. on whether the protest increased the spread of the virus or don't increase the spread of the virus. I'm saying that crowds, wherever the crowds are, can give you an increased probability that there's going to be acquisition and transmission. But do you understand Americans' concern? Protesting, according, particularly according to the Democrats, is just fine, but you can't go to work, you can't go to school, you can't go to church. There's limits placed on all three of those fundamental activities, the First Amendment activities, but protesting is just fine. You know, the, I'm, the, gem, uh, the gentleman's time has expired, but I'll just ask the gentleman to just think about his question and put it in reference to crowds that gather in political, at political meetings, at fundraisers without masks, on an all rig in Texas, nobody wearing a mask, nobody social distancing, but a fundraiser, right. would that be problematic? With that, I'll yield.